Welcome to the Adult Basic Skills Professional Development video series. Throughout our productions, we are committed to excellence in adult education and professional development in basic skills instruction. The goal of this video series is to improve the effectiveness and quality of instruction through focused professional development. Um, I'm, uh, I'm unemployed at the present time. Okay. Uh, sometimes I work odd jobs for people when they need need things, and uh, do have a family and need need to um, get some work, get a okay. good job. Our major goal in the assessment process is to find out what the student can do real well and what is too hard. We want to find a general area where the student can handle the material with almost no errors and with high comprehension. And so our purpose for informal assessment is to find a good place for instruction. What I'd like to start off with first is just a list of words. Uh, would you read this list of words right here for me, please? And again, they get, they, you're not supposed to be able to read all these words because they get harder and harder. Uh, at, car, down, said, big, is, me, fish, I like fish, mm. play, little. Good. Now, most of those words, do you feel like you just instantly recognize them, or do you have to think about them a second or two? Mm. Just the last one was. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you do, where, where do you do your fishing? Oh, we go to the extremes around here. Informal assessment procedures may be used immediately following the initial interview. After talking with your student and establishing a good rapport, it's time to give them a word list and paragraphs to determine their strengths and what they can do as it relates to reading and language arts. The advantages of using informal assessment are, number one, we're using materials that are closely aligned to instructional materials. So we have a good match from what we find out in a short sample of interaction with the student and what the student will probably be doing in real materials for instructional purposes. Number two, with informal assessment, the instructor can observe what the student is doing when he or she comes to a word they don't know. Many times this can be a valuable source of information when it comes to planning instruction for that individual's level of learning. You were sharing with me that sometimes you feel like you call words or pronounce words better than you understand what you read. Is that, mm -hmm. is that true? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's, let me start off with a paragraph. Uh, uh, read the paragraph. It's about a half a page. And then when you finish, then I'll take the paragraph and then I'll ask you some questions. So you want to think, you know, think about what you're, what you're reading. So I'll be asking you some questions. I want to know... Uh, uh, how, how accurately you read words, but also how much you remember about what you read, and so we can help you better, better do that, okay? So let's start off with this passage uh, right here, and if you'll read this for me, please, starting with this. So this is a selection about... It's very important uh, when we're assessing an adult student uh, to help them couple. find a level and that so they can about, do almost perfectly. Okay. Many adults have had very unsuccessful experiences in school. John they may have been asked to read materials where they would miss every third, fifth, or tenth word. Our level of success needs to be much higher than that. We would like for the students to read materials where they instantly recognize 98% of the words and comprehend 90% of the material they read. Where does Mary work? Bank. Okay. And what is a good title? What might be a good title for a story like this? Going to the beach. Okay. Why did Mary and John decide to take uh, some warm clothes? It was winter, winter time. Okay. Uh, what will they do with towels at the beach? Lie on them. Lie, lie on them. Okay. Uh, what does the phrase, uh, their bags, mean in the story? They're like uh, suitcases. Okay. Uh, when did they pack? The night before they left. Okay. 
And why did, uh, or why did Mary and John need to get some sleep? Gone. It's going to be a long trip. Okay. Can't get up. We can go. What else might they have packed for the trip? Had a radio, uh, tape player. Okay. And why did John ask about the weather forecast? He wanted to find out about the weather, to drive in it. Uh, okay, can you tell me more? I mean, um, about whether it was going to rain or not. Okay, good answers. Very good. Let's try another selection, okay? We want the adult student to be very successful. We want them to really understand the materials they're reading. We find much faster progress when adults are allowed to practice the materials that are first, very interesting and meaningful to them, and second, materials where they have very low word identification errors and very high comprehension. Then she bought a pumpkin pie. As Jean arrived home, her excitement grew. She enjoyed planning dinners for special events. When Mark and his guest arrived, dinner was ready. Delicious. Delish, delicious. In and the assessment process, it's important that the student you feel like sure. he or she is a part you of the team. You sure. you sure. I really like to have Gene, the adult to, to feel like he's a partner, that he's a teammate when we're doing assessment. I usually give them some indication of what I'm looking for. For instance, when I give them a list of words, okay. I ask them to help uh, me find the words that they yes, instantly the recognize, one. words okay. that they can now, get but they have to think about it a second or two, and words that they're not sure that they know at all. Mm -hmm. So in Correct. some of this process, they understand that I can't look inside their head, that they're helping me find out what's instant for them, what's very easy for them, and what seems to be a little struggle and just what is too hard. So as a part of this whole process, it started early when we began our assessment in asking them to help me to figure out or to find out what it is that they, that they feel that they do real well. This gives me a good, you did really, really well with this first selection. That's probably where we'd like to start. Does this feel pretty comfortable with the first one? Um, it's okay. That was okay? It's okay. Would you like to, uh, would you like to try a lesson just to see what, what it might feel like? Uh, and maybe you can give me some idea of whether you think it's, we've got, we've got a number. Here's, uh, here's one on job interviews. Um, here's some, some of the kind of materials we use that are, that are, um, some selections about. You know, history and th or what, what kinds of things do you think you'd like to read? We, we'll try to find things that are of interest to you. Mm -hmm. well, about I like I like travel, uh -huh. you know, outdoors. Here. Things. You ever been out west? No. Well, this is a story about the Grand Canyon. Ever heard about the Grand mm -hmm. Canyon? Boy, it's a monstrous thing, and the Colorado River just goes right through the Grand Canyon. And this is a selection. This is, this is real good for comprehension because they've got a story and this is the typical length of the stories, hmm. the selections. And here's a t these are all about real things, real places, either, either science or social studies. And, and, and some of them are really interesting. They're not all really. You, know, you need to make some choices. We don't read every one of them. And then after each, after each selection that you read, then there's some questions. And um, you did real well generally with the main idea questions, so we might skip some of these questions, but the ones that you need some practice on were just probably, because for every time, for instance, it's the same kind of question. The third question is always the same in, in it for every selection, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and so if, if we find that there's a particular type of question, we'll read the selection and just answer those two or three questions. We don't need to do them all. We just need to do the ones that you need practice in getting to do, do the things better. Now let's read a little bit of this and see if that fit. seems like that's a good fit because it seems like I'm trying to find something that's comparable to what you read real well. Mm -hmm. And then we'll practice with that and we'll gradually increase the difficulty, but you need to help me sort of make judgments about that from time to time. What you feel is comfortable. Does that sound, sound okay? Okay. Um, all right. Let me just try that first paragraph. 
Most the, adults uh, uh, really like the informal assessment procedure. Uh, we've had many experiences where an adult uh, have said, hey, well, do we get to do this again tomorrow? Um, it, it's, it's not threatening. With, in contrast to formal assessment, uh, this is uh, timed usually with a uh, stopwatch and there's not the in interaction with the instructor that you would have in informal assessment. Grand Canyon. Some people ride mules down the sides of the canyon. They pass layers of rock cut by the river. The layers are different colors. The colors tell many things. They tell how the land was built up before the river began to cut through it. Okay. And the Informal River assessment is, is important because it shows the instructor what the student can do and where they began to have trouble. This is significant because it provides us with a plan for instruction. Word in the story that means a deep valley is. Okay. Okay. You get the gist now how mm -hmm. that's kind of funny? Yeah. And, and this, is, this is some of what you'll do when you come in here with us each time. But now you've told us very specifically that what you want is to, is to get a good, a good job or, and so something that, and so maybe some of the time we'll spend in here on dealing with interviews. Mm -hmm. That's always been kind of a hard thing for me to do. Is that, is that mm -hmm. kind of tough going to interview? Yeah. And uh, so we'll, we'll work with some, some ideas about how to do that, how to do it better. Uh, we'll also, if you, if you like, uh, since this is a real interest of yours, uh, work on the, how about filling out the forms? Has that, that been a problem? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll work on you know, filling out some of those applications mm -hmm. for jobs. And this, this will be some, so we'll have a balance between this. How, how's your man? Not very good. Okay, so you want to work on that some too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so when, whenever you come, we'll, we'll have your own personal folder. So when you come in, we'll, uh, we'll have uh, specific work for you to do. And if you'll notice, we'll probably work with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so we'll get around to you. We're not, we can't be there all the time, right when you need us, maybe every time. So you need to be able to switch back and forth between things when you get stuck on something. But uh, we're here to help. It's, um, do you have any questions for me? No. You can do this. You've got, uh, you, you, you've, got, you've got a lot of things you can do real well. I've got to try. So. Well, what do you think that we can, how can I best help? What can I do? Oh, this has been a help here. Just, we'll take it next time, one day at a time. Okay. 